हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल एग्जाम मिनिट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर रवि रंजन सेयर सर हेयर वेलकम यू ऑल टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द बेस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी टू बिकम एन ऑफिसर इन इंडियन आर्मी सो दोज हु आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल राइट नाउ सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंबाइंड डिफेंस सर्विसेज एग्जामिनेशन व्हिच इज शेड्यूल्ड टू बी हेल्ड इन द कमिंग ईयर 2024 the first phase of the examination so we will discuss here today about the notification vacancy and the registration start date so tune up right now and join the session and ask all your friends to join the session right now let's start the video so we will discuss about all information today so let us figure it out what is the notification being noted in cds examination so cds 20 CDS first phase 2024 will be conducted by UPSC on 20th will be released on 20th December today we are here with 2017th December right so after 3 days the application will be started for CDS recruitment all right so the examination will be conducted by UPSC as you know that union public service examination conducts this particular session all right so let us figure it out what are the different types of areas the student can join the is the various fields is indian uh, indian military academy indian naval academy and indian air force all right so now moving to the next is conducting organization is upsc the examination name is combined defense service examination vacancy number of vacancies is supposed to be released in the coming period of time the mode of application will be online the student can fill the forms online right so the notification date will be started from 20 december so from 20 december onwards that is after 3 days the students will be able to fill the form all right the online registration will start from as we said 20 december to 9th january approximately 19 days 19 19 days will be given to you for completing the entire application process is that clear to everyone now let us figure it out what is the selection process the selection process is the will be followed by written test then there will be ssv interview and finally there will be medical examination and after that if all the students who get recommended from ssb at various centers they will be taken for the merit list and the final merit list student will be shortlisted and selected moving to the next part is the language so the language for written examination will be bilingual means the question will be given in the english as well as hindi as well right mode of examination will be offline as you know that upsc examinations are conducted offline a booklet is given generally all right now question types will be mcq based multiple choice questions right each question will have multiple options now eligibility any candidates who are unmarried either it is males or it is female they are eligible to apply for that right the what is the total duration for the cds examination for entry in defense forces is 2 hours right now marking scheme is 1/3 for each incorrect answer means if a student or a particular candidate does a wrong answer or puts the wrong response 1/3 marks will be deducted that is for every question 0.33 marks will be deducted is that clear to everyone now move it to the next is job location job location will be all india as you know that defense services is related to all india services so it is related to all india right official website is of www.upsc.gov.in upsc.gov.in i repeat www.upsc.gov.in is that clear chaliye aage baat karte hain hum log uh if we we'll talk about upsc vacancies the vacancies are still awaited and we are eagerly waited for it uh, as we know that uh, it is uh, estimated that uh, there will be approximately 350 vacancies in the indian armed forces all right so if we we'll talk about the different type of academy where the students or the candidates will be taken is indian military academy dehradun indian naval academy azimala Indian Air Force Academy Hyderabad Ofos Officers Training Academy Chennai that is Madras SSC that is Short Service Commission for Men 
ऑफिसर्स ट्रेनिंग अकेडमी चेन्नई फॉर एस एस सी वीमेन सो टोटल वैकेंसीज इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड दैट थ्री हंड्रेड फैक्टी फिफ्टी वैकेंसीज विल बी देर राइट सो एज सुन एज द वैकेंसीज कम्स इन द थ्री डेज इट विल बी अपडेटेड सो वेट फॉर दैट एंड मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट now if we'll talk about examination date uh, upsc calendar is already out we know that so 2024 uh, notification release date is 20th december online registration starts from 20th december online registration end date that is last date is 9th january 2024 till 6 pm last date to pay the fees is 9th january till 6 pm admit card will be released released and that is to be updated still now right it is awaited cds examination date 2023 that is the 21st this is the golden day right 21st april 2024 so i repeat 21st april 2024 is the examination date for cds examination is that clear yes or no all right so if you go with the eligibility the student will be must be the citizen of india right if you we'll talk about education qualification the student should must be a graduate or equivalent from for from any university if we'll talk about the age group it must be like from 20 to 24 years right so till 2023 20 to 24 years now detail in age limit will be discussed in the coming period of time and i as already said that the candidate must be unmarried if a candidate is married so they will not be taken in cds examination or they will not be taken for the post in cds is that clear so they must be unmarried marriage during training is also not permitted i repeat is that clear to everyone yes or no so moving to the next part written examination right so each and every student will have to appear for the written examination and those who clear the written examination they will be called for the ssb service selection board like different ssb centers are there like ssb bangalore service selection service selection board bangalore is there allahabad there that is as of now it is called as prayagraj and many ssb centers are there and after that there will be a medical verification those students who get recommended from the interview ssb they will be called for the medical verifications and once the medif medical verification is done and they are found medical fit medically fit their me separate merit list will be prepared and finally they will become the officer the joining the post as you know that lieutenant is the joining post for indian army i hope you are aware with that pilot officer or flying officer will be the joining post for indian air force right now moving to the next part is cds application form 20th december will be the date and the last date is 9th january as we have already discussed all right now moving to the next part application fees and the application fees is 200 rupees for the all the candidates the candidates who come from general category or unreserved category or the candidates who come from the obc category that is of other backward classes or economically weaker sections they will have to pay rupees 200 while the sc and st category that is scheduled caste and sc scheduled caste or scheduled tribe candidates will will be exempted from the fees they do not they will have no fees required right no fees is applicable for sc st candidate is that clear yes or no and you can pay the payment or you can pay the fees by mastercard debit card internet banking by all of the means right now if we'll talk about the structure so the about the subject duration maximum marks right we will discuss the things one by one right for admission into indian military academy indian naval academy and air force academy let us figure out what is the examination pattern for the same if we'll talk about there will be three sections right the three sections will be english for 2 hours maximum marks is 100 general knowledge is 2 hours the maximum marks is 100 mathematics is 2 hours and the maximum marks is maxi mathematics is 2 hours and the maximum marks is 100 right ssb interview as we know that it is conducted at various center the duration is 5 days and the maximum marks is 300 right for admission to officers training academy the english 
ड्यूरेशन इज टू आवर्स एंड द मैक्सिम मार्क्स इज हंड्रेड जनरल नॉलेज ड्यूरेशन इज टू आवर्स एंड द मैक्सिम मार्क्स इज हंड्रेड एंड एस एस बी इंटरव्यू द ड्यूरेशन इज फाइव डेज एंड द मैक्सिम मार्क्स इज थ्री हंड्रेड आई होप द वर्ड्स आर क्लियर यस और नो इफ एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू दे कैन टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट वाइल वी आर प्रोसेसिंग विद द वीडियो इज दैट क्लियर मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग विद द सैलरी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द लेफ्टिनेंट पोस्ट द सैलरी इज इट इज कॉल्ड एन लेवल टेन पे स्केल इज फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड वन लैख सेवेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड एंड फाइव हंड्रेड राइट कैप्टन इट इज टेन बी सिक्सटी वन थाउजेंड मेजर इट इज सिक्सटी नाइन लेफ्टिनेंट कर्नल इज ट्वेल्व ए वन लैख ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड कर्नल इज लेवल थर्टीन यू ग्रो अप टू वन लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड ऑनवर्स इफ यू गेट प्रोमोटेड टू ब्रिगेडियर दैट कम्स अंडर द स्केल ऑफ और लेवल ऑफ थर्टीन ए दैट इज वन लैख थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड एंड इफ यू आर प्रोमोटेड टू मेजर जनरल द लेवल इज फोर्टीन दैट इज वन लैख फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड एंड इफ यू आर प्रोमोटेड टू लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल यू लेवल इज फिफ्टीन दैट इज वन लैख एटी So level 16 to lakh onwards, and if you are into army commander, lieutenant general, the level is 17. That is 2 lakh 25 thousand is the fixed salary what a lieutenant general gets. And if you become the chief of the army staff, that is level 18 is the it is the the highest level. That is level 18 that you get of salary as 2 lakh 50 thousand per month. so this is one of this is the pay scale and the growth in by joining indian armed forces navy as well as indian air force right so this is how we have discussed the things one by one i hope you have enjoyed the video and if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel right now this is professor ravindran sir sir here and so press the bell icon for so, such more updates so enjoy your day and have a and fill your form as fast as possible thank you very much have a nice day take care bye bye